Anyway, Wood Zone is a weird one because it is accessible in earlier prototypes of the game, but it's much more unfinished than Hidden Palace. There are very few platforms and objects to run on. Using the game's hidden debug mode, we can get to this conveyor belt near the top of the stage, but that's as far as we can go. It's very clearly unfinished. At least it is in this particular build of the game. Alright, here's where things get interesting. Just recently, in December of last year, an art portfolio created by artist Branda Cook was uncovered and restored. Now the interesting thing about this is that it includes early footage of many scrap zones from Sonic 2, including Wood Zone. In this short segment, we can see Sonic running through the zone while spikes extend from the ground trying to hurt him. We can also see the conveyor belt from the prototype of the game in action as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have when it comes to Wood Zone. To me, this resembles zones that are seen in later games, specifically Triple Trouble and Sonic 3, so I wonder if those took inspiration from this scrap concept. But yeah, unfortunately, unlike Hidden Palace, this concept was not fully real.